Hey guys, Sean B. Martin here, and welcome to part two of the World Editing with SVM tutorial series. Yay! Uh, there was a tremendous response to the first video. I can't thank you guys enough. You liked the hell out of it, and uh, it made me feel really, really good. So uh, we're going to do some more complicated stuff today, and uh, I'll give you a little example of, kind of the kind of stuff we're going to do right now. Cut ahead. Okay, so my dad made this big sign for me, Five Things Let's Play. Pretty cool, I like it. He uh, used that part of the bridge that I was making and he actually made it look much prettier. So that, that looks great. Uh, but I'm not crazy about this big black obsidian backdrop. So I've selected the whole thing and we're gonna use the replace function, which we've done before, but we're gonna do something a little funky. So we're gonna replace the obsidian and then we're gonna get tricky, watch this. We're going to go 45% red, 45% black, 10% white. Now, you notice the, the syntax I've used, there are no spaces after the commas. Notice that there are commas also, first of all, because the first term, obsidian, has to be separated by a space, and then the second term can't have any spaces, or you're going to get a syntax error. So replace obsidian, and then percentages. Ba, ba, ba. How cool is that? Yeah. I like it. It's staying. Okay, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Let's get back and uh, there's still some basics that I have not covered. And also I just listened back to the first part of uh, this episode and I apologize for trying to blow out your ears with my popping mic. I think I fixed it now. Okay, so uh, one of the major advantages of World Edit is that the pickaxe turns into quite a different tool. You can use it as something called the super pickaxe and the way you use it is by simply typing slash slash super pickaxe enabled. Now, depending on how you have your settings set up on your server, and I don't know if you can change this on the single player version of World Edit, I would assume you can't, uh, but I could be wrong. On your server, uh, you can make it so that when you're using the super pickaxe, first of all, that blocks don't drop, which you notice they don't. It just eliminates them. Um, also, the main advantage of the super pickaxe, if you can't tell, is that one click removes the block. You don't have to dig away at it. So you can do things like this. Click, 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 click. Just eliminate entire beans, uh, entire chunks by holding down the mouse button. Pretty, pretty cool, right? Now that's not the only thing that the super pickaxe can do. It can do something much more impressive. We're gonna head over here and, oh, hello, Mr. Sheep. I'm about to mess up your day. Now, uh, you can turn on different settings with the Super Pickaxe. Let me give you an example. We're going to do a slash Super Pickaxe, SP, and then change it to an area. I am not exactly sure what the number that you put in here exactly corresponds to, because it doesn't seem to be a radius or a diameter. It's just like a, it's like a brush size in Photoshop. Um, but I think a brush size to Photoshop actually does correspond to a pixel. Anyway, um, so we're going to do, we're not going to go very big for now. We're going to do number two. So now watch this. Click one time. Oh, one time, one time, one time, <laughs> one time. See what I mean? Uh, that is a different sort of pickaxe. Here, I'm going to undo those and I'm going to set it to a bigger setting. Let's try four. I'm gonna fly so that I don't fall in. One click. Okay, still down to there. One click. And uh, notice it also does separate out different types of blocks. Uh, if you're doing this underground, you'll notice it even better because it will eat around ores. You can click on the ore to get rid of it, but by default it seems to leave different types as if to make sure that you actually do want to get rid of this chunk of dirt. It doesn't get rid of it until you click on it. And then it goes, okay, bye. Gravel, bye. <laughs> etc. etc. Pretty cool? Pretty cool. Oh, and uh, before, since uh, I have a good example right now, um, 
you saw how after I got rid of that, the sand fell in. This is one of the few things about World Edit that is not perfect, and it's not really their fault, it's just the way that the game works. Because sand and gravel fall, if you eliminate something, and then sand or gravel falls in, when you undo it, that sand or gravel is lost. It's going to get covered up by whatever was there, and it's not going to move back up to where it was. So um, you're not going to see it yet. I'm going to tease it. <laughs> there is a spleef arena under the pyramid. Um, if you're watching this uh, at the time that it goes up, it will be uh, revealed on Friday. Uh, uh, details to follow. But anyway, there's a spleef arena under there, and when I went under to world edit the area out, the first thing I had to do was put up a single layer of stone above everything so that when I removed the area, I did not cause a cave-in in the desert. I, it's under here, and this entire area could have fallen in if I had made a miscalculation. So just something to keep in mind about sand and gravel and world editing. you got to be careful about the way that it deno is that what I just typed you got to be careful about the way it removes blocks from below other blocks okay so uh, I've shown you how to set uh, blocks and everything but I haven't really shown you what what you can do with it so I'm gonna give you a few examples of cuboid uh, construction type methods so I'm going to make a little little box excuse me expand mad at me. I've got a box here. I'm going to set it to stone. And uh, now, when you set something, it's going to set the entire area. This is solid stone. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving that in. That was awesome. Um, to turn off this. <laughs> this is important. To turn off the super pickaxe, you type super pickaxe uh, single. There you go. You should also be careful when you're setting areas to not do something like this. Uh, stand in the center of it and then type, <laughs> not undo, set yourself inside. If I did not have God mode on right now, I would be dying. The way you can get out of this is by using your compass to just teleport out, or you can type slash or slash slash unstuck, and it will pop you out somewhere safe. All right, so let's see what else we can do with this. Right now we've got a solid block, but we can also do things like walls. So now we've got just the four walls of the selection. You can also do uh, this thing, outline. <laughs> now we have all six walls. The top and bottom are included, but it is a hollow structure. See? So you could uh, make yourself a pretty easy dwelling that way. So for instance, if you wanted to make a the simplest of houses, you could do something like this. And I'm going to I'm going to speed it up here, but this will be really quick. Watch. Okay, so we have, uh, it is a featureless house. <laughs> I added just a splash of color, but um, it is still a house and it's got all the functions that a house in Minecraft really needs, including a bed, which I'm sure many of you are saying it doesn't need a bed, <laughs> but it's your spawn point. That's, that's what it's for. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna expand it once so that we get the torches on the front and there we go. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to stand right... Where am I going to... I'll stand on this corner. And, okay. I'm going to copy. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to stand here. Paste. Oh, it doesn't place doors correctly. That's too bad. It's okay. I can deal with that. And then I'm going to <laughs> get really fancy. I'm going to expand six. Oh, one more. Okay. And I'm going to stand here. Copy. Come on. Copy. Rotate 180. And I'm going to go stand here. 
And gotta fix the doors. Oh, it doesn't place beds either. But uh, that is a very brief, I mean, I did, I constructed that building in five minutes. I don't think it was even five minutes. And uh, look at how quickly I now have a little squat village. And uh, look at how quickly even, <laughs> watch how quickly I can make these uh, in, look a little more individual. So that's cuboids. That's, you know, that's just boxes, rectangles, squares, cubes. Uh, let's try something a little more visually pleasing. You can do cylinders and you can do spheres. Here is the syntax. You're going to do slash slash sill. Ugh, sill. The material you want it to be made out of, so glass in this case. Um, what the radius of the cylinder is going to be, the radius is half the diameter, so if you want it to be 10 around, you're going to enter a radius of 5. And then how high you want the cylinder to be. So I'm going to do a, a radius with 5 radius, 10 high. Now it's going to place the cylinder where you're standing. And this is a solid cylinder, so if I were not guided, I would die from this. I am. I'm standing in the center of glass. I can't see. I'm gonna pop out of here. There we go. Pretty cool. It is a cylinder of glass. Now uh, you could get a little tricky with this. I'm gonna undo. The other option for a cylinder and a sphere, of course, is the hollow cylinder. So we'll do a hollow cylinder of glass. Again, five and ten. And there we go. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? You want to be inside a sphere? We're going to do a sphere right here. Uh, I'm going to do... The syntax is very similar to the cylinder. It's sphere. And then you're going to type the material it's made out of. That's always the next thing. And then you're going to do the radius. And then you're going to answer a question. Um, Mentium explained this very well on the episode of the Five Things Let's Play that he was on. You type yes if you want the sphere bottom to be where you're standing. If you don't type anything, the sphere will be centered where you're standing. So I'm going to say yes so that it goes from here 10 blocks up in the air. Okay, there it is. I can't see it because I'm inside it. There we go. Pretty cool. Now for this next trick, which I already showed you, I'm going to have to give a shout out to uh, Endless636 for... Uh, I knew that this was possible but I had a lot of trouble figuring out the syntax um, because I kept looking at examples that I think were wrong or were at least an old example or something. But he sent me a link to the wiki entry on uh, the SK wiki and that was what I needed. So now I can do things like <laughs> not expand my selection enough um, like what I showed you at the very beginning. So I'm going to replace the glass here with 50% let's do something weird and see what happens 50% <laughs> I'm gonna regret this in two seconds 50% glass 25% water 25% lava not recommended by the way Wow Look at that mess I just made. Is that does that count as griefing? All right, so uh, I'm gonna undo that, but uh, watch what happens. Okay, so it replaced all the glass. Now some of the lava escaped. This is a constant problem, and actually I I had to help uh, one of our builders here, Vance, with this the other day, and I'll show you what I did for him. If you spawn lava and then try and fight it with world edit sometimes it's a little tricky to get rid of and this is the way that i normally get rid of it and it seems to work if you can encompass the entire selection of lava with uh your selection tool so i'm going to go 20 up i'm going to replace lava with air and usually then you can uh you might need to fight you might need to put out the last few fires yourself by hand but you can oh, i'm on fire Come on. <laughs> it's so mean. It's so mean.